Hey friends, I'm Bob. I'm Carrie. And this is 25 Plus Life. And today we are in Guilford, Vermont at the Welcome Center, right off of I-91. And uh, I'm actually pretty excited about this video today. It's a little bit something different than our normal. We are doing a product review of Carrie's no, favorite subject of text. <laughs> <laughs> of, of tech. Uh, that's gonna be the Garmin RV770. <laughs> RV GPS. <laughs> Stop doing that. You Now that Carrie's gotten that out of her system, yep. uh, we're going to go load this up into the truck and uh, no RV today. We're just going to test this out head into New Hampshire and a couple areas that we know pretty well. Uh, but if you're ever on I-91 going northbound, uh, you might want to stop in. This Welcome Center is absolutely incredible. Uh, it really is a, uh, a perfect example of Vermont. And, Apparently Vermont makes Carrie giddy, uh, <laughs> so she likes to. No, it's just uh, cold. But yeah, it is very cold up here. Uh, but yeah, if you get a chance, I'm going to show you around here. Uh, it's the main building, and then you have a couple outbuildings and all that good stuff. But just overall, very well designed. Uh, and again, it is very cold. People are looking at us like we're nuts. And yes, there is still piles of snow. Uh, but we're going to load on into the truck. And I'm going to turn over, turn over shooting to carry, and we're going to give this sucker a good test run. So uh, let's see how it performs. Okay, here we are back in the truck, and I have this set up temporarily uh, just so I can kind of get a feel for what this is going to be like. Uh, first and foremost, the RV770, we've seen a lot of this online. Um, we're not paid for this. This is uh, something we bought ourselves because we've been using Google Maps and, and Apple Maps, and we also have the built-in uh, Garmin for our head unit, but wanted something a little more RV specific. Uh, this seemed to be one of the better ones that, as far as what we were looking for. Um, and will bring you over here. Initial thoughts is, wow, this thing's massive. Uh, the screen is incredibly bright. Uh, I have gone in and set up just a little bit, but to set up as, as far as being RV specific, you go into a view, vehicle profile, and it will ask you for your height and your dimensions uh, as far as weight and, and width and whatnot. And I set ours up a little bit, just a little bit higher than what we have, um, just because I wanted to make sure that we are gonna fit everywhere and I don't wanna be guessing. So we'll just select that. And uh, yeah, one of the things I will say right off the bat is for updating. Updating was very simple. It went straight through Wi-Fi. Uh, which was amazing because on the older systems, we've had to take them out of the vehicle, hook them up to the computer, do the updates, take them back out and do all this. This was very simple and, and easy to go. Uh, so we're just gonna bring it back to this here. We're gonna set up a point here. We're gonna go, uh, so some points of interest can accommodate recreational vehicles, which is fine. Uh, we're gonna, this gives you some basic pointers of what to enter and how to do it. Uh, so we're going to go searching through, uh, well, actually, before I do that, let's look over what there is. Um, you have your home address, um, you have planned RV parks, you have RV services, which is really nice. So let's look at the RV parks, and you can filter by uh, anemones, amenities. Uh, right off the bat, it's showing a couple of uh, local areas up here for Dummer State Park in, in Guilford and uh, a whole bunch of KOAs and stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, so we'll go back here and plan RV services, dump stations, which right off the bat, um, this is gonna show you perfect example of places where you can dump because uh, everybody likes to take a good dump. Uh, we'll edit that out, it'll be fine. Propane filling stations, uh, which we know this area pretty well. So here's a couple that I actually, I wouldn't have thought of. So that was nice. Um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have thought of a couple of those right off the top. 
uh, truck stops. I think up here, there's probably only one that's quite a ways away, which is up in Springfield, Vermont. Um, and then there's one up in New York as well. Uh, and then you have mobile services, tires, RV repairs, uh, which up here should be interesting. Uh, oh, wow. J&J uh, Truck Service up in Troy, New Hampshire. Um, a couple other places as well. So we'll uh, give the basic stuff there, your trip planners, your categories for uh, food and, and stuff like that. Your recents, which I don't have any at the moment. Gas stations, which is a big one for us, um, is to find you know what you have through uh, Foursquare. And then you also have additional results uh, showing some in, in uh, Hinsdale as well as Brattleboro. Uh, nearby attractions. So let's hit major attractions and see what we come up with for the Guilford area. And uh, you have the Mark Twain house up in Hartford, Connecticut, uh, Fenway Park in Boston. Uh, apparently these are gonna be quite a ways away as far as what they list for major attractions. But uh, we're gonna go right here and we're gonna search the place that we like to go, which would be Chesterfield. And Chesterfield Gorge state park and one of the things i will say is uh so we're only 11 uh, miles from here so we're gonna go here and have you swing so one of the things i will say is that uh one the system boot is incredibly Please fast drive to highlighted road. uh the colors are very vibrant and, and much better than what we're seeing over Apple Maps and Google Maps and even the uh, Garmin that's tied into our Kenwood uh, head unit here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna go into New Hampshire, we're gonna go through, uh, we know the area pretty well, so we're gonna see where this takes us. Um, it should show us some grades for steep hills, um, if there's any uh, covered bridges, which we have up here, um, that may change a few things. Uh, it does have connectivity to uh, smart watches and stuff like that. I'm not going to go into that too much because I'm not going to be utilizing that. Um, I am, again, impressed with the, the Wi-Fi updates. That's a huge deal as opposed to pulling everything out. Um, yeah, so let's uh, put a seatbelt on. And uh, I'll have you film the uh, GPS and see where it takes us. Let's switch glasses, folks. And uh, away we go. Well, no, we don't, because I need a seatbelt on. <laughs> okay. That's going to be wonky for a minute, because... I'll let it go set up. So one of the things that we see is if, if there's something that, says, that they don't know about the area, it says recreational vehicle accessibility unknown. So we did see that pop up in here. So it just means that something along the lines, they don't, it hasn't been inputted as to uh, whether or not an RV is good here. We're gonna decline some phone calls because we're in the middle of filming. Uh, all right. So one of the things you notice right off the bat is it's gonna show you the, you know, the typical GPS stuff, which is your current speed, what the speed limit is. Uh, one of the things I am picking up right off the bat is that it is showing where the gas stations are, which um, I actually like that. I didn't have to tweak anything for that. Normally you have to set up some POIs and stuff like that. Uh, this is already done for you, which is great. Color combination right out of the box is excellent. Uh, I do like the, the color theme or scheme, whatever you want to call it. And it is giving us a notification of the state border ahead, which is great, uh, which we've actually, now that I think about that, that might be a little bit off because, oh, I see what it's doing. So we're, so for those of you guys not familiar with where we are at the moment, we are on the border of Vermont and New Hampshire. So what it's telling us is in 4.6 miles, we're gonna be hitting the New Hampshire border, which is pretty decent to know. Uh, yeah, so we'll just continue through. Uh, again, right up here, and hopefully this is picking up, but there is a sharp curve ahead, uh, which we know this stretch of 91 North uh, is a pretty sharp corner, uh, so it is nice to see it picking this up. That's stuff that we don't normally get on the normal GPS, either with uh, Apple Maps, Google Maps, 
or in this case our Garmin tied into our Kenwood. So uh, hopefully, I don't know if it's picking that up too, but it's incredibly windy here in Vermont today. Uh, I think high is only supposed to be around like mid to high 30s. Uh, and then tomorrow will be up in the mid, mid 50s. So uh, definitely a little bit of a different for weather. Uh, so we'll go back again, curve ahead. Excellent info to know. Uh, gives you all your routine information as well as some advanced stuff. So, so far, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed as far as uh, what it has to offer over. This is a big one. 5% steep hill downward head. Uh, coming through here with an RV. I'm definitely gonna want that information. Uh, and some of this may be overkill, but especially in areas that we don't know, if we were towing a rig and coming through here, it's nice to have a heads up, especially up here in New England, where uh, some of the grades are extremely steep, uh, especially upstate uh, Vermont. So I have a sip of my coffee and let you watch the GPS. So yes, I am uh, I am speeding a little bit. So we'll back that off a little bit. Uh, and I will say, lining the uh, lining the speed on the GPS versus the speed of my truck, they're matching 100%. My tires being a little bit larger than the stock I tend to throw the odometer off by a couple of miles an hour. Uh, this is actually spot on with what I've got. So. I'm pretty impressed there too. Our other ones tend to be off a little bit. Uh, so that's interesting to know. Uh, yeah, and we'll head as we head into uh, beautiful Brattleboro, Vermont. Uh, coming up on exit three here. In one and a quarter miles, take exit three on the right toward US 5. So hopefully some of this I'll pick up with the dash cam as well uh, to give you an idea of the area that we're in. But one of the things I do like about this is this does have the split screen that shows the uh, the exit and more importantly what lane you should be in. Uh, so we find that quite often uh, that lane information is, is something that's very important to have. Uh, and Apple Maps does a great job of that. but. Uh, yeah, it tends to miss some of that. Take exit three on the right toward US 5. All right, we're going to take this in uh, right over here. At the roundabout, take the second exit. So this is taking us up to normal course, uh, which is nice. Sometimes up here, uh, GPS gets a little wonky, but it is taking us straight up roundabout, through. roundabout, take the second exit to Chesterfield Road. And taking us straight through the, uh, the rotary or the roundabout, whichever you call it, your part of the country. Uh, and this is gonna take us right up onto Route 9 into New Hampshire. And there doesn't seem to be any clearance issues. Again, I have this set only for uh, a height of 10 feet, so this is giving me Continue on Chesterfield Road. a notification of a speed limit change. And we go over the bridges here, uh, nothing to be concerned with obviously here. Uh, even a Class A, this would never be a concern. 18 wheelers come over here, no problem. So yeah, so we have about 8.5 miles to go uh, before we reach our uh, destination of Chesterfield Gorge State Park here in New Hampshire. Uh, but I gotta say my first impressions here are pretty solid. Uh, as far as other GPSs that we've had, this, this information for us is crucial, knowing where to get services, dump stations, uh, and having uh, the dump stations, gas stations, as well as RV parks. Uh, parking was another one that we pulled up and parking showed places that would, were suitable for us 
which would be a Walmart parking lot, uh, truck stops, places with larger accommodations uh, for us towing and, or, or just RVing in general. But as far as this goes, I paid $199 for this coming out of the GPS store, which was a uh, Google recommendation. Uh, I had seen these go for quite a lot more money uh, and just kind of waited until I saw it go on sale. I believe there might have been a coupon code somewhere along the line. So I think my total was either $179 or $189. And just from this limited run, I can definitely say I highly recommend this. This is not a paid endorsement. This is our own money. Uh, this is the information, especially for us, is going to be great. I don't know about you. I don't like personally having to pull out my phone, start Googling where to find a uh, dump station, where to find propane, uh, just to be able to have that all in one set uh, piece of equipment is great. So yeah, so we'll continue up here. And uh, <coughs> I'll give you my final thoughts after we reach our destination. So my final thoughts on this is it's definitely worth the money at 179 to 199 depending on how you find it for uh, coupons and availability. Uh, we found better deals off of Amazon, ironically. Um, it, yeah, you, you really can't beat this. Knowing where to have propane, dump stations, parking, uh, the steepness of grades, uh, the low overhangs. Uh, so it, it will reroute you around you know, some of these uh, smaller uh, lower hanging bridges that we tend to deal with up here so yeah definitely um, i'm in i i'm a big gadget guy anyway so uh i'm gonna go two thumbs up with this and uh yeah call it a uh, good review here i am gonna turn it what do you think um it's okay it's big um it's nice and one thing i will say on a positive note on this is it kind of it takes the panic out of okay, let's try this exit for, we may or may not have a gas station here. I, we have come across using the phone and your other built-in one here that they say there's a gas station down the road. Well, the gas station no longer exists. A good point. And then, so what do you do? Very good point. So for that, I say, yeah. Ease of Two use. Thumbs up. Ease of use is great. Great. Yeah. All right. Well, there you have it, guys, friends, pals, buddies. We're going to, uh, Wrap it up here and hopefully you're not just seeing the top of my head. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna call this one done. Bye. High five. And we'll catch you uh, down the road as they say. Yeah. Hey friends, Bob from 25 Plus Life here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This way here we know you care. Thank you.